<laughs> I was talking for like a minute straight and I just realized it was not recording. What is going on everybody? My name is Jose Castillo and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're going to learn a triple color change. Yes, I said it. A triple color change. And I do this when I have absolutely nothing ready. When someone sees I have a deck of cards or someone knows I do magic and they want to see something, I have done this and I've gotten some pretty good reactions out of it. So, get yourself a deck of cards and let's learn some really dope color changes. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, can't really hear out of my left ear right now. I went to a concert last night with one of my best friends. I saw a Weezer and it was awesome. And here's a little clip of it. But I can't hear. I, got, I, I can hear, but it's just like a lot of ringing. But on that note, like I said, get yourself some taking cards and get ready to learn some dope changes. Now, I'm first going to show you how it looks like, like just the changes by themselves. I'm gonna show you how you can get into a little routine, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the top card, in this case, the six of clubs, and all you have to do is just give it a little shake. And when you give it a little shake, you get the jack of clubs, spades, I'm sorry. All you have to do is snap. And it changes into the three of spades. Now let me get into how it looks like when the spectator chooses a card. So what you're gonna do is you're going to show them, you're gonna ask them to pick a card, and let's say in this case they picked the Ten of Diamonds, Glare of the Lights, I am sorry. Ten of Diamonds, you're gonna leave the Ten somewhere in the center. All you have to do is snap, and when you snap, <laughs> oh, you should've got the Ten, oh man. Uh, we got the Two of Hearts, you know what, give me, give me one more chance, okay, one more chance. All you have to do is just give it a shake. One more chance. Okay, one more chance. Um, there it is. Ten of diamonds. So the reason I like this trick, these changes, is because... You know what? Hold up, hold up, hold up. I didn't plug the channel. Hold up. If you are stumbling on the channel for the first time, welcome. My name is Sasha Castillo, and we do all kinds of stuff on this channel. Tutorials like this one, or street magic reaction videos, or just magic tricks in general. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. But now that side of the way... I really like this effect because it looks like you messed up and for some reason people want to see magicians mess up, drop a, drop a card or whatever, they want to see them mess up and essentially you mess up twice but in a cool way because you're still doing a color change but you make it up for it at the end. You're like, yeah girl, I, I know magic, don't you, don't you dare. So what you're gonna do is get the top card, now you can just show the card do a little spin, or what I do, I like to do a little little flashy flick, a little flashy flick, right? And that is just a cover to get a break on the bottom, on the bottom, on the top two cards, I'm sorry. Now there are many ways to do this. You do a push off break, super easy. But my preferred way, and I've said it so many goddamn times, is the pinky count. Now, it is super useful I have a video on this. Go learn it. I don't mind. Stop this video. Go learn it. Because if you are not using this, not over exaggerating it, it is very, very useful. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stop this video. Go watch it. So you're back. <laughs> I'm pretty sure nobody left. Uh, not right now, camera. Don't you get out of focus on me. Like I said, you're going to get the top card and you're going to get your break. Okay? Now, you're going to do a shake change. Gonna go over the shake change really quickly. The shake change is essentially this, right? Now I have a problem with the way people do shake changes and it is just like that. And to me, that looks very obvious because how you, you are just doing this, you know, super slow, you're just doing that, right? But for some reason, like when you turn it like that, the, ed the edges, they just seem very like obvious and very like in your face like ah like i don't know to me it does and what i do is i put a little bend and it is this is over exaggerated but you're going to do a little dip and when you do it at the right angle it just looks like to me it just looks like it's kind of morphing into another card instead of just that i don't know to me it does but if you want to do it like that cool if you don't if you think i'm crazy that's fine too, but you're going to do a, what way is it? <laughs> there we go. You're going to do a shake change. Now from here, you're going to drop the cards, boom. 
Now what's perfect about this is that essentially you're clean, you don't, you don't have any breaks or anything, but there is a natural break with the cards, as you can tell here, not holding anything, it's just, it's, it's there. Because it, it is best to do this with a bit of an older deck, uh, not just straight up new, a bit of a used one, you could break it in to have this. But you see a natural break, so it's perfect, it's very easy to just pick up the top two cards. So then you're going to go here after the shake change, pick up, boom, snap, and that is the triple change. Now let me go over how it looks like when a spectator chooses a card. Now this just involves a control, controlling a card to the top, specifically controlling a card second from the top. Now there are many ways to do this. Now the way I do it, uh, because it is very easy, is you're going to show them and you're going to do a turnover pass. And I also have a video on this. I really like this pass um, and it is really awesome. So. Uh, yeah, double backer, that's useful. What you're gonna do is you're gonna show, and then you know how, like, the turnover pass, let's say the king of clubs, you turn it over, and then the king of clubs, queen of clubs, sorry, is on top. You're going to do, you're gonna show them, and let's say they pick the five of diamonds. Instead of just putting a break under the five of diamonds, and that would essentially put the five of diamonds on top, you're gonna put the five, you're gonna put a break on the card above the five of diamonds in this case the ace of hearts now be careful like with whatever card they chose be careful to not put a lot of attention to the card under it because that is the card that that they're gonna see later because if they if they see like they picked the four of hearts and then but they notice that the two of clubs was under the, the four of hearts they they might not pick it up right away but if some people are like really smart uh or like have really like good like attention or paying attention they're gonna be like well hey that was you, you did something there so just like what i like to do is let's say um pick let's say they pick the king what i like to do is actually cover here sometimes like, oh here pick a card and i like to cover some of the pips with my thumb and let's say that in this case they picked the the king and you're going to put a break under the four of hearts and you're going to do the turnover pass and now the four is on top and the king is second right so then from here you're going to do uh you can go here or you can make it flashier oh that was horrible <laughs> uh that was horrible too jesus top shot there we go i'm sorry that was just there we go okay sorry <sighs> that was bad and then from here, just what we talked about earlier, we do the shake change. And then this is where the acting, like I talked about earlier, this is where that comes in. Because magicians should act and should 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 focus on it. I, I've been focusing on it a little bit more because I used to suck. I still do suck. But instead of just like, oh, here's the four hearts. Oh, that wasn't your card. Oh, it's, oh that's not your card. Like, sell it. Sell it. We all know magic isn't real. We all, we we practice on this for hours and days and whatever, right? And if if we don't believe what we're doing, why the hell should the other person? You're gonna go do the shake change, but like, oh, see, wasn't your card, but <laughs> that was still kind of cool. And I've gotten like rea like comments like, oh, see, that wasn't my card, but how the hell did you do that? Like, you still change a card, still, and it's still very magical. And then here, boom. And then that's their card. Oh, hey, look at that. So, sell it. Because, like I said, if you don't believe it, why the hell should they? That is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you liked this video as much as I did. And, like I said, it is, it is extremely easy, extremely useful. Um, and... Uh, I have done this, like I said, when I have nothing, and it's worked perfectly. So, if you like this video, make sure you leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Share it with your friends, your family, everybody. And I will catch you guys in the next video.